welcome back to uh, ARC helicopter reviews and setups. Uh, now, in the last video, we saw this uh, mini helicopter flying, but we, if you remember, it, it kept going backwards. Again, that's the problem with most helicopters, even the big size helicopters, uh, still heavy. Almost every helicopter is still heavy. So, what I did is I added a watch battery on the front there. You can see I put a bit of sellotape for now, but I'm going to show you where I'm going to put this battery. So it doesn't look so bad being on the front of the helicopter. Now, this this battery watches you can actually go to a watch place, to a watch shop, and ask them for old batteries. They just give it to you. Okay, just tell them you're a modeler, and you know, is they give it to you for free. Now, let's let's see him fly in the battery there. So I just do this so to to pre-test it. So as you can see. It becomes much, much more stable. So in any helicopter, okay, really the secret of uh, of a good flying, a good experience is balance. Always try and balance your helicopter as much as possible. Makes it much easier. Okay, even though some people say this is a toy, it still can hurt you. Okay, it still can hurt you. This little thing. Okay, so let's see. If it's come on, so it's, it has failed to link here. Let's turn it off. Turn the radio on again and turn the helicopter on after, see if it links. Okay, and there it goes. So as soon as the light starts flashing, it's ready to go. Now you can see the difference. Compared to the last video, it's still a bit tail heavy for this battery, but uh, because I'm going to put the battery inside of the canopy so I'm just going to go ahead and take the canopy off you will notice because the battery is going to be right at the edge so it gives a bit more leap to the front of the helicopter but it's still much better if you remember the last time it's still much better than the last time okay you can see it pretty much stays in one place now when this happens you're moving around because of the wind coming from the from the blades so Let's go ahead and, and put in the battery, so I'm going to put the battery inside of the canopy. To do that, turn this off. Now, one of the things I noticed as well with this mini RC helicopter is, compared to the, to the, to the full-size model, like a 30 size or, or 50 size and the, and the 90 size, is that he likes to have the control first, right, before you turning on, on the helicopter. And, you know, it gets you used to, it gets you started. And you can fly indoors, so it's a nice, nice thing. Another thing I didn't show in the previous video is that the blades. You can see how much this blade spins. So you gotta have a hard time broken this helicopter. So and it's all metal, and the canopy is plastic, just like the real thing. So I'm gonna do. Let's put the battery. You can see the size of the battery. Okay, and I'm gonna put the battery inside of the canopy. Right now, to do that, you can see there is. One screw there, and there's another screw here, okay, just like the full size model, okay, one screw there, and another screw there, and is a fixing again in the bottom, like the full size model. So, you know, as a, you know, have a bit of fun, as a model to have a bit of fun, this is ideal to get you use to modeling on, on a full size helicopter. So, it's actually a really good helicopter. So, I'm gonna do, gonna go ahead and take the screws off. And then we'll pick, as soon as I got the canopy off, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so I took the screws off. You can see the canopy is now loose. Now taking the canopy off, you can see this lead in the bottom of the canopy. You kind of just little pressure to your finger, press it in. And the canopy just, should just slides out. And there you go. So you can see there is a battery. Okay, it's fairly sized battery. With the lead just turning there. Okay, so it's plenty of space for us to put the battery inside, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see the pig. So, I'm gonna put the battery right, right at the very front there, right to the front of the helicopter. Okay, now to do that, I'm gonna do is just put a little drop. Uh, 
I'm gonna put a little drop of silicone, okay? Gonna put a little bit of silicone, any silicone will do any color because you're not gonna see it anyway. And then just put the battery into the silicone and let it dry. So let me do that and we'll get back in, in a minute. Okay, there you go. So I put a bit of gray silicone. You can see just about to see the battery there. And just waiting to dry and then put it back on. Okay, now putting the canopy back on, this is quite a fiddly job. But, you know, all you can do, you can see I got a lot of extra wire here, it is flat. So basically I'm going to put the lead on the canopy hole first, where the lead comes out. Okay, and then just slide the canopy into it. So this is a fiddly job, so I'm just going to quickly do that and then we'll test fly it again. I'm going to use the screwdriver to help me push the lead through. Yes. And now put in the canopy, just make sure the wire is not going to get on the way. When you put the canopy on, make sure you actually put on those gaps there, like this. There it goes, the screws is aligned, everything is aligned, and now we just Screw it, so let's screw this. Now before we tie up all the screws, you better point them all in place to make sure you don't want to be forcing something on it. Okay, another thing to point out is when you're screwing the canopy back, okay, you don't need to, you know, go too hard with these screws. You just basically screw them back in, and as soon as they, they touch, you feel there is pressure. That's it, okay, because this is very, very weak. You don't really want to force it too much. I already went ahead and did the other ones. So let's try and flare it. Let's test it. Let's see how, how balanced it is now. Gotta get out of the shot a bit. Okay, so let's check how well balanced it is, okay? 